So today I've actually went and done what a lot of you guys have been asking me to do for a bit and that is to bring out the infamous A10 Warthog onto Battlefield 4 and it doesn't really get much better than this because we've got Parasol Storm right here which is definitely my favourite jet map. I've soaked up that many hours on this map that I know it pretty well but actually focusing on the game here we are getting 2v1 by jets. Odds are stacked against us so let's see if we can clean this up. Stealth just the bigger threat so I'm going to go for that instead. That's not the maneuver he wants to do. It's an easy kill for me here. So Mr. Attack Jet happened to bail, but we do have a boat to kill. A lot of boats to kill, actually. So let's get to work here. These cannons really do never get old, and the JDAMs, as you see right here, pretty strong. 50 damage, just a split second it took me to do that. And we should be able to clean them up with the cannons now. And there's a third boat as well on A, so let's get let's get that under control. Let's pop this APS. Should be next strafe on him and he'll be dead. Sables. And yeah, you couldn't ask for a much better start than that. Three boats, two jets. Let's get it going. Alright, so getting right back into it here. We do have an AA to kill. As soon as I see that B flag get captured, it's always what I think of. The AA. It's probably the second deadliest threat to the jet in this map, so... I'm gonna try to work on that one. Hopefully we hit this JM. Nah, he's dodged that. But, I think now that he's in the water, he should be a free kill here, so let's clean it up. My JDAM wasn't ready there, so I had nothing to shoot at him. And now I've lost a bit of health, so that's a bit unfortunate. And this is Stealth Jet up. That's a really big threat. Let's go for the Stealth Jet straight away. Active radars from, I think, the AA. This is going to be rough. Going to have to dogfight him pretty clean here. Oh, he has lost his awareness. He got that kill there. And now, because I've just killed the Stealth Jet, and I know the Attack Jet's going to spawn soon after it, I'm going to fly towards their base to force a, a fair 1v1 with their Attack Jet. I'm not going to base rape him, I'm just going to go and make a really fair 1v1 against him. He's going to stay around here. There he is. I just saw him for a split second. So let's go clean it up. Decided not to fight him so close to the base anymore because there's a boat up. And if the boat gets a TV on me, kill me in one shot there. So don't want to let that happen. I'm just going to take a fight slightly out of TV range hopefully. It's a bit of an awkward one with the skybox, but let's see if we can clean it up. These cannons require so much lead, you have to really understand what the jet's going to do to aim them properly. Yeah, I was going to commit for that guy, but I mean, it's more likely that he hits a Renderzook than I kill him, so let's not let him do that. Let's clean up the boats instead. There goes one. And there's a second boat as well. I just don't want to get killed by the base there, so I'm getting a bit of distance here so I can do it from range. That's the goal at least. The damage from these cannons is just so good. Do you think that they actually used to be stronger than this? They used to be stronger than this in Battlefield 4, and then obviously in real life they are a hell of a lot stronger than they are in this game. I mean you can shoot jet skis like 20 times before you kill them in this. That would not happen in real life. It looks like the AA is dead now to my squad mate, we're good to go. So we've got a boat heading out of spawn now, I'm going to kill him. Now I'm usually a little bit merciful when it comes to putting enemy teams in base. Sure I'll do it a lot of the time, but I also don't mind letting them have a bit of a chance. But this enemy team, in last round I joined late and my team got rolled. And the enemy team talked a bit of trash, so I'm not going to show them any mercy this game. I'm going to put them in base. If you piss off an attack jet pilot on Parasol Storm, you got to expect it. I mean, the vehicle is so strong on this map. It's definitely the, the best attack jet map in the game for me. You could argue Lost Islands is a little bit better, but I've got so many hours on Parasol Storm. I used to play a server that just had this map only. So I really do know how to play it. Anyways, we've got a transport heli coming out of spawn. 
That's probably the easiest kill for me. Yeah, he was already hit up, so managed to clean that one up. And this guy's stinging off their carrier. I mean, it's a it's an annoying strategy, but it's never going to kill me. You'd have to hit one through ECM. And there's a stop shit as well now. I don't have my set of my ECM jammers. So hopefully, he doesn't have any missiles. Okay, now that we're in a dogfight, I'm kind of safe. And I got my friendly jet here as well. Can't really trust a random jet though, so I'm going to try to do it myself. There we go, get him gone. And there's also a gunship up. That's been up for a little while. If you've been a ground vehicle player, you'll know how annoying the gunship is, so... I mean, you should be taking care of that thing when you're a jet. Every time. I have been hitting a few of those, by the way. It's not just a random shot. I, I do hit them sometimes. Another oh, boat heading out of spawn. No mercy for these guys. They're getting put in base. And the island as well. Pretty sure there's stingers on there, but haven't seen them. And yet another boat, and I think an attach it. Yeah, there's the AJ. He does not care about me. I think he shot at me, and then he just gave up. So I'm going to kill him for it. The, the Chinese attach it is the hardest one to hit by far. The, the A-10 is the easiest, and I'd say the Su-25 is somewhere in the middle. That Chinese one is just so good. It doesn't take much damage because it's so small. Would have been nice to hit that, but I'm going to come around and clean it up anyway. Kill this, you seen the chat, bro. And we've got another oh, no, boat. Sparky's going off in the chat, he wants to join the squad. Squad mate's got something to say. Stealth jet heading in. I love shooting J20s, man. They're so big and easy to hit. You just can't go wrong with that. Okay, I expected one kill from that, but I didn't expect two. This Patchet just doesn't seem to care about me at all. He just wants to <laughs> do his own thing. I feel like I hit more than 36 damage there, to be honest. I feel like some of my bullets must have dusted, but... Still got a kill. And I'm gonna go straight to the island, unless that rib boat is killable. Try to get that. Oh, not bad. And there's also an attack boat. As I said, these guys trash talked me, so I'm going to put them in base. There's no mercy at all. These guys are going to have to deal with the full wrath of the A-10. Yep. Yeah, no boat for you, buddy. And stealth shit should be somewhat soon. But the island seems like the easiest kills for me. So I'm going to go there. Try to kill those guys. There's one. And there's no second, unfortunate. Now here's the stealth shit I was talking about. You must not have spawned in it instantly. I do pride myself on having a pretty good mental clock on tracking when things are spawning, and I can kind of tell when the stealth shit is just sitting there and no one's spawning in it. I got eyes on an enemy sniper. Don't know if I dropped a J down there at all. Don't think I did. Oh well. While I'm here, I may as well fly out towards their spawn to see if the attack jet spawns up. I haven't been tracking the attack jet. I don't really track all the vehicles. I just keep track of the spawn timers for mostly the boats, just very roughly, so I know when to go get my kills. And then the stealth jet and the AA. Those are the really important ones. That JDM was really satisfying. One way to do it, if you're lazy, is you can basically, after you get the kill on the vehicle you're trying to track, so let's say stealth jet, you will look at the timer. You can see on top of my minimap there's a timer that says 47.37. You would take away 90 seconds and that's when the jet's going to spawn next. Or for an AA it's 60 seconds, a scout heli at 60 seconds, boats 90 seconds. You guys can look these up if you want, but that's a really, really useful tip for Battlefield. It's extremely useful for Battlefield players. And I'm pretty sure it will transfer into the next game as well. It definitely transferred to BF5. I could go kill the attach out there, but I feel like he's just going to ram something, so I'd much rather get the kills from the boat. And there's a jet ski here. Ooh, we sniped him off the top of it. Very nice. Should be more people coming out of base, though. And as like I said, I've said it a few times, these guys are not getting out of base now. I'm going to make sure they stay here. 
Try to hit them cannons. Thought I killed that guy. Oh, we'll get the JDAM here. There you go. That's another weird quirk about the A10 actually. It has a single nose mounted cannon. The, the 30mm GAU-8 Avenger, as a lot of you guys will know. Pretty legendary gun. Very, very legendary gun actually. And the other jet actually, the uh, the Fantan has two guns on it. It has dual Gatling cannons. They don't do any more damage, but they do actually have a little bit more spread. But I find the spread actually helps me aim a bit easier because you don't have to be as pinpoint precise. A10, you really have to be just dead on the target. And it can be hard because the attach jet cannon is affected by the jet's momentum. It has a slow velocity. Uh, it is a bit weird to lead it vertically sometimes. It, it really can take a bit of skill to get the hang of this thing, so... I do understand why people like the Chinese jet a lot more, but... The A10 on games like this is just so satisfying. Got another boat heading out. I wouldn't be surprised if it dies before I get to him, but let's try to get it. With the cannons. There's one kill there. And is that another boat there? It's a rib boat. I'm still gonna kill it. If no one else beats me to it. Unfortunately, I got locked down. I was pretty sure he's gonna shoot the missile, so I did pop my ECM. Oh well. Go get the rib boats now. There's one rib boat destroyed, and there's a jet ski. Those nice, accurate A10 cannons. When you've got your aim on with it, if you have a really, really nice day of aiming, the A10 is unbeatable. Ain't so, so nice when you have your cannon aim really, really good with it. And this game, I'm kind of feeling it, so I'm not complaining. Okay, that stealth check got destroyed, holy. Another boat here. He was very, very low health. Had super fast. There's a little transport heading out as well. I don't think he's going to survive the 16 TV missiles that my team's going to shoot at him. Looks like this game is pretty much over for the enemy team, and they deserved it, so I don't mind. I really want to strafe the carrier, but I don't think that we're going to be able to get that one off. Killing the rib boat. No one on the island, yeah. This team is pretty much ridden off at this point. Attach head up now. I'm gonna go try to kill that. Attach jets can do so much damage if left unopposed, as you guys have seen from this video. And I'm running the the stealth coating and not the belt feeder. I actually haven't been using belt feeder for a long time because I don't really need the extra ammo. You can shoot for a bit longer, but if you're accurate with the stealth coating, it will actually let you kind of play with the thing a little bit more. I'll have to take a bit more time to lock onto you. So I like the stealth coating a lot. Unfortunately, again though, leaving jets undisabled is kind of annoying. And now we've got a boat out. I'm surprised that boat hasn't been ganked by our 16 little birds in four boats, but... I got eyes on an enemy soldier. Looks like he's already taken care of. Let's go see if we can clean this up. Get a few more kills before the end of the game. I'm gonna go for the transport heli here. No kills there. There's a guy there. Oh, we get his mate as well. Alright, nice. Well, I'm guessing that's going to wrap up the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this little display of the A10. It is hard to get games in it. It does take a lot more damage, and it's just a weird jet to fly at times because it's so big, but it is really satisfying to do, and I had a lot of fun with it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to get ready for 2042, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.